Hello and welcome to Tie-Dye House instructional videos for Tie-Dye. This is a video on the Mickey fold, the pattern itself. Somebody asked for a close-up on the fold. They were having a difficult time getting the good detail, so um, here's a video on how to do that. Um, I've already got this shirt prepped. I've got the pattern. It's already drawn out here. So this is, uh, we'll just go ahead and fold this. A couple things here um, with the Mickey pattern and really any kind of pattern that you fold. Ideally, when this is all folded out, it will make a straight line. So a key thing to doing that and having it all even is the height of your folds. So, you know, I'm, I'm about a quarter of an inch, half inch on my height of my fold. And that's, you know, when you get to this point right here, you want everything to be even. So look, I'm going to go ahead and fold up to that line and show you what I'm talking about. See my fold back here, this fold, that's tight. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot shorter fold than normal. And essentially what you're going to want to do here is turn that corner. And that's really hard to hold a fold that that's, is that short and get a nice turn. See, you've got to turn that into that line and you really kind of want that to do that naturally, not have a significantly higher or lower fold in order to make that turn. So I don't like the height of that fold. So what I generally do is I just back it out and start over. I mean, a lot of these patterns I've folded several hundred times. So I kind of know, you know, what my height is, but you know, it doesn't always work out that way. And I have to unfold one and start again. So it's just that important on the fold side of things to, to just go ahead and unfold it and start over sometimes. Not always, but in this case, for consistency of this line, I will go ahead and unfold it and start again. So I'm going to come back and I'm, I've got my folds a little higher than before and fold that line again. And again, try to fold right up to that turn. See, now look, see, when I make this, see how much more space is here for that fold? It's more natural. It's more along the height of the rest of the folds. And I can easily make that turn and get this in line with that fold. So from there, I'll just keep on folding. And you'll have the same situation kind of when you get up to this line here. Because once again, you have a turn and you want to have that a clean line when you dye that so that it doesn't look distorted and you don't lose detail. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and finish folding up to that line. And make sure that your layers don't get off here. I mean, you can feel it if there's a wrinkle in any of this and you've got to get that wrinkle out. Okay, I'm just squashing that down to kind of keep her all together there. And this I want to keep flat. I don't want this part to bunch up in here. I want that to be as straight out as possible. And the same thing on this side. See, I've, I'm my hand, I'm holding it way back here because I want that fold to be clean all the way out, not bunched up. Straightening it out. And here I am, right at the end, and about to make that last turn. And I want to make this whole thing, turn it into a straight line, basically. So I'm a little tight right here on this very last fold. But what I can do see there's my straight line if i just stay there with that straight line right and just keep that straight and then fold that other line back there's my straight line and i'm straight all the way across so that's usually the way i do that if you can get to it naturally from how we folded this line that's you know that's just as just as well but that fold will work in a lot of situations i use that on a couple folds i use it on the um, 
Appalachian Trail. I use it on breast cancer ribbon and and the Batman as well. So so that's that. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and get a string on here. I'm not letting this go. Get that string across. And tie right across that marker line. Snug it up. And cut it. And that's it. Go ahead and put a second string on. This table's probably a little shaky with this camera stand on it, and I apologize for that. That's my second string. Again, going back about an inch, inch and a half, because I don't want the dot to migrate in too far. It's just kind of a stopping line. It helps you. So there it is. Very nice. And then again, on the back here, you know, you've got some gather kind of thick here and part of that front, see it sticking out the front here. I try to just get my thumb in there and push push it against my thumb to kind of get it straightened out so that it's more flat to the overall fold. What I want to make sure I don't do here is pull on this too hard and distort this line and end up pulling that shirt out of there because if you end up doing that, you're probably going to wind up starting over completely. So that there it is. Pretty, pretty good. I can evenly get the die on there without a lot of trouble. And it's, it's really, um, you know, important when it comes to dyeing this, the evenness of how the die goes on. So that's the straight line folded pattern. If you need any more detail on it, just give me a shout and I'll do what I can to help you get it perfected. Again, thanks for watching. This is Todd I House Nancy. Have a great day.